We are approaching the destination of Cragsmore Road, where we'll be doing the uh, what falls? I can't even pronounce it. Verkerder, Verkermer Falls. Really cool falls with a really cool waterfall at the end because of the rains we've been having. Unprecedented rain. Unprecedented, unprecedented rains, sure. Um, thanks to uh, Tropical Storm Ida. So, uh, thanks nature, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, More hope all of you are safe out there in any case. This here is the parking area. It opens up at nine o'clock in the morning. And there's a decent amount of parking here, as you can see. But once there is full capacity at this parking lot, there will be no more cars allowed to enter. So make sure you get here early. Some solar panels up there. It's a very efficient, eco friendly area. And this is over here. When you come to pay to get the permit that you put in your car's dashboard so people can see that you're, you're actually allowed to park here. It's very quick, easy. You can use the Empire Pass. Cashier takes credit cards. This is the inside of the visitor center. It's pretty like a nice activity area over here for kids. They have some cool taxidermies, their taxidermy animals. So you can see some of what the wildlife would look like. This is a porcupine. Looks like a bobcat. Yeah. Fisher. Get the shoe right down the shoe right there. I'm ready to see what I can get for it. And there's a map right there. Snowshoe hair. This is the Humber Rail Snake looks like. We have some juvenile turkey vultures. And some turkeys up there. I'm going to point something out though. Just remember. Some type of predatory bird. Maybe a turkey vulture. I think hawk. He's not, he's he's not challenging me on, on uh, leaving at 4 on Friday, so I'm shutting up right now. Did you check on him at 7 30? No, oh, I asked him. Yeah. I spoke to him because I had talked about the trail system because Eric wanted to close and I didn't think it was a good idea. He agreed with me, so it was good. And Daphne and Kristen thought I made a bad move, so it was like. But, anyways, so I said 8 o'clock all day, so 7 30 Monday. He said, slice it or dice it anyway. These are some creatures that live in the ice caves. It's a flatworm, it says.
And that's the visitor center. Wow, see I told you we we're pretty high already. Yeah. Didn't even realize how high high up we were. I'm, getting too close. I'm not gonna get too close. Oh, that's to the overlook, Samus Point. But I don't think we're doing that trail. No. Uh, frankly, it says nothing about where we're going, but I think ice caves makes more sense, right? Yeah. Look at this. The trees are naturally decorating themselves to make it look like they have tinsel wrapped around them. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Yes. And look, wild blueberry bushes as far as the eye could see. I believe all of these are wild blueberries. With no blueberries on it at the moment. It does say to the active. Yeah. But you're right, it does look apocalyptic with all those trees burned like that and Holy everything. Moly. In the visitor center, they were talking about how the environment is designed to be burning and everything like that. Okay, same way as the ice caves. Oh yeah, and this is the loop road if we were to go straight ahead this way. Okay. So It's called the Burkirdomkill. Burkirdomkill Falls. Juncture, and now is where we start at this juncture here for the ice caves. So now we're going to follow along this. We think. Yes. All right, let's go. Uh -oh. Down there for the caves. If you're trying to do both, I would say do the caves first. Yeah. Because then after that, say how you guys are feeling, and then check out the falls. Cool. Yeah. With the falls, you're gonna be out in the sun the entire time. There's no, there's no truck coverage. Oh. All right, cool. Unless you're nice enough to give us an umbrella, and then we could walk. Yeah. This is mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we brought the sun. Then right. you know what? I think it's time for sunscreen. All right. <laughs> so it's in the top um, zipper. It's it's only 1.7 miles away, but it's gonna feel way longer because. It's not much up and down, but there's just a lot of rocks along mm. the trail. So just take your time, be careful. Is it a paved foot path? Like, like this? No, so it's like an actual trail. Oh, okay. So you can actually see it, it starts right out. Oh, there. okay. Again, not much up and down, but just a lot of like rock hopping. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like rock this, okay. Hopping, yeah, so. Any steep areas we need to watch out for? Uh, I would, nothing really. I would say if you keep going after the falls, there's one steep incline, but. Again, nope. the, main, the main thing is just a lot of rocks mm -hmm. and you're gonna be on the sun so okay. just make sure you drink a lot of water yeah okay. we're prepared right. and the, the falls there's uh several viewing platforms or so there's one main viewing platform i think there probably is another but like you'll see it you'll start hearing the falls when yeah. you're close and then you'll see a sign for like the trail if you go to the right instead of going left there's a viewing platform okay so to the right okay cool 
Hey, it should be flowing pretty well. I was there two days ago. Yeah, that's why we decided to do this today because we were like, gotta well, catch all the wa water actually, coming down. Uh, on that point, anything we need to watch out for, like in terms of floods on the way there? Uh, or? So it should be, before it was kind of flooded, mm -hmm. but now it's, it should be better. Drying but up. just be ready to get a little bit wet. But okay, okay. There's like one uh, creek crossing, but it's something crazy. But if you guys are wearing boots, you should be fine. Yeah, you're good. Okay, cool. And there are rattlesnakes in this area, oh. so just stay on the trail. Oh, okay. Yes, avoid them. Yeah. Okay. Best way to avoid them. Are they yeah. big? Uh, it depends on the size, but again, you probably won't see them, but it's more of a... Are yeah. they noticeable? If we do? If you notice them, they will we'll see you first. Okay. They'll probably make a noise. Okay. But that or they're sleeping on a rock. Yeah. But again, usually they're off trail, so you're going to see them. Okay. They come the trail then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is insane. Look at all these blueberry plants. If they are blueberry plants... Are you talking to me? Yeah, you. What'd you say? Look at all these blueberry plants. Like, it's just insane how many blueberries there are. I freaking love blueberries. I wish they would just feed us some. <laughs> well, next time when we're uh, hiking and it's in season, then we could just pick them. <laughs> this one place... blueberry? I don't know. Yeah. When do they grow? Uh, in, earlier in the summer. Really? Yeah. In in July, Dad and I were at uh, in Harriman State Park um, fishing, and this guy, we were like, "What's he doing? He's walking his dog along the uh, the the lake, uh -huh. and he's just like picking at this bush. But it was huge. It was like the size of a tree. And I'm like, "Well, what's he doing? What's he doing?" Turns out it was a big, huge blueberry bush, as tall as like my dad is, Whoa. and he just kept picking blueberries. And shoving them in his face. Wow. The dog or the person? No, the person. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Know. But I mean, look at this view. This is crazy. It's just like... I, I mean, I know we, we went up a huge amount of elevation, but based on what we did, it didn't feel like it was... But it also, the tree is... Let, let's keep getting these. Yeah. I guess we have to keep moving because yeah. we only one path. Yep. feels like Frodo and Sam from Lord of the Rings were walking into like the... You have the ring, I don't have any. No, I don't have it today. Oh, okay. Don't want to lose my ring. <laughs> but walking into like the desolate area with all these trees.